Hello everyone, welcome to another Python video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about recursion. So what is recursion? It's about creating a solution to a problem by relying upon earlier solutions of that said problem, okay? So here's the main concepts. So a problem with input of n may be too large or somehow difficult to solve, okay? But maybe if we can solve a smaller version of the problem where n gets small enough, okay, and we'll do so by, we'll shrink the problem by calling the function on an argument small than n, let's call it x, for example. So at any point of this x value, which is small than n, right, if f of x is solvable, then maybe we can start building towards the value of n so that f of n is solvable. Now, uh, recursion, it is a very difficult topic because of two things. Number one, how to identify when a recursion can be used. And basically this comes from practice where you're practicing um, problems that are classified within these types of categories, such as divide and conquer problems. Uh, when you're working with tree and graph structures, maybe you're working with nested structures, or you're working on problems that uses either backtracking or even um, solving a problem using dynamic programming. Okay, so first and foremost, to get really good at recursion at first is really um, just seeing a bunch of problems or being seeing a bunch of solutions that are within these types of categories, so that you kind of see where the uh, recursive design comes from then after that it will you'll start to naturally see where recursions might be used throughout your um, programming journey okay and then lastly the second hardest thing about recursion is that well how do you code how do you construct a recursive statement and i'm going to show you this example of that right here okay so let's look at a given problem our goal is to add all numbers from one to n where n is a positive integer to be honest this is not a recursive um problem it, we can simply just use the gauss formula to find it but if you don't know the gauss formula there is a really nice little recursive feature here okay so if we were to analyze of n being five well if i were to run a solution uh, for this problem we can call it that the function f is a solution for this problem and if we were to say f of five we want to add five plus four plus three plus two plus one to get our answer and if i were to analyze a smaller version like f of four that is four plus three plus two plus one so therefore i see a little pattern where well f of five is just five plus the solution of f of four well what is solution f of four four plus the solution of f of three and three is three plus f of two, and two is the solution of two plus f of one. And f of one is so easy, we, we call that a base case, where we can just return one right away. And then we can formalize this recursive statement where function f of n right, is equal to itself, the n input, <coughs> plus the function n minus one, and this is our recursive statement for our problem of adding all the numbers from one to n. <clears throat> okay so what is a recipe like if i have this statement down how do i create a recursive function in python first we want to create our base cases the simplest version of the problem which have the simplest solution so let's do that um we're going to call this def recursive sum and we're going to have num as our input okay and if we we're to say that base case one num is zero All right well then our answer should be zero very simple if num is equal to zero return zero base case number two num is one very simple we don't need to do any add we can just return one so we could say elif num is equal to one return one all right then we're on the second part it's getting difficult for us to really imagine what our answers would be after the point of one so we wrote our best case or base cases right now if right now we're going to say well if the given argument is not one of these base cases then we can design how to how can we work towards it right so what we were doing was well we can work towards it by just having our input added by the recursive function we created with one less than our user input or given argument so what we can do right here is to say that all right well we want to return num added by and we're going to wait until our recursive sum of num minus one is done because for me 
to solve the recursive sum of this given number. I need to wait until I know the previous solution. So we're going to say that I'm going to add on this value plus the result of our underscore sum on this smaller instance, which is num minus one. And that is going to do the same thing. Num minus one has to wait for num minus two. And num minus two has to wait for num minus three. So we're recursively calling a function and making our input smaller and smaller and smaller until we get our base case so that our recursion doesn't go infinitely. And that is 2a and 2b right there. So that's the end of our sum. And then we can go into print sum of all numbers from one to 10 is equal to, let's put a little F here. And so that we can do our sum of 10 and let's see how this goes video. All right, so it says sum of all numbers is one to 10, which is 55. Okay, so our sum of 10 needs to wait for our sum of nine. And then our sum of nine is gonna wait for our sum of eight and seven, then six, then five, then four, then three. Then when we get to two, we are gonna add two plus a recursive sum of one, which is one of our base case. That is not gonna do any recursive function call. So it just ends and returns one. And all those functions that is in something called an activation stack where they were waiting for these function operations to be done will now start to complete and finish their cycle one by one, all right? So that was a nice little introduction to recursion. As we solve more recursive problems in this unit, what we're going to do is look at uh, how does Python really handle those recursions and how can we even optimize recursions to help uh, solve some of our problems, okay? But as always, thank you for watching and stay classy.